Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. This is Gerard Beyer for Italian language learning and uh, so we are now at unit 6 in uh, in Duolingo and the last time we did uh, this uh, describe positions and uh, so we're going to start uh, by having uh, a look at uh, the guidebook of unit 6 and uh, so here we go if you're ready, let's uh, start. E la sua giacca? E la sua giacca? So, is it, you, is it her jacket? La sua. So, yeah, we can listen to... E la sua giacca? E la sua giacca? Lui ha il mio portafoglio. Lui ha il mio portafoglio. Portafoglio is a wallet, yeah. He has my wallet. Lui ha il mio portafoglio. Okay, and il capotto, which is the coat, yeah, è nel ristorante. Il capotto è nel ristorante. The coat is in the restaurant. And lei compra gli stivali. Stivali or boots. She buys boots. Lei compra... Comprare, I think, is uh, the infinitive of the verb uh, to buy, yes. Com, com, yeah, com, pra, comprare. And uh, comprar. So it means to comprare. Uh, yo compraro? No, compro. No compraro? I don't know. We have to see. So, lei compra gli stavali. Stivali, sorry. Lei compra gli stivali. Stivali or boots. This is a new word uh, uh, to me, so I have to memorize it. Let's see the tip here. Double consonant. We've already seen that the difference between single and double consonant in Italian isn't just a matter of spelling. Double consonants also sound longer than single consonant. So here we have vestito. Vestito is um, dress. Vestito. Vestito. Carota. Carota. And uh, ciotola, which ciotola. is the ball. Yeah. And uh, so this is a T. Vestito. Vestito, carota. So this is how you, it sounds. Now the double, the double T. Cappotto. Cappotto, gatto, and biscotto. Cappotto, gatto, biscotto. Biscotto, cappotto, gatto, biscotto. Okay, and now we have Orologio. Orologio is just a watch. Gelato is ice cream and fagiolo is strawberry. Fagiolo. No. It's bean. So how do you say strawberry? I also forgot. So Orologio. Orologio. Gelato. Fagiolo. Cappello. Cappello is of course cappello. It is uh, a hat, and caramella is a sweet. Polo is pollo, is a chicken. So let's check. Cappello, caramella, pollo. Pollo. Okay, that's good. And abito is I live. Abito. No. Oh, yes. My apologies. Because abito like this is I live. Abito. So this one is the the suit yeah and cibo is food libro is uh, a book cibo libro abbigliamento 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 clothing abbigliamento abbigliamento abbastanza abbastanza which is enough basta is also enough but abbastanza. Abbastanza is sufficiently, you know, sufficient. And so these are new words and we have uh, just seen that uh, when there are double 
consonants like uh, abbastanza abbastanza you have to spend more time <coughs> here so it's a little bit longer makes sense right so ask questions dove siete where are you so dove siete de dove siete would be from where are you so de if you say de dove siete so di dove sei no it's not de it's di dove sei so di dove sei di dove sei be careful so what is it cos'è 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 what is it cos'è uh, cosa it's what cosa oh, actually i can do like this cosa yeah cosa is what and e it's is but uh, notice that cosa ends with a vowel and if we have two vowels uh, it it's not uh, like nice to say cosa e uh, they tend to make a contraction here cose so they remove uh, the first vowel and quando mangi when do we eat quando quando is when quando tell me quando 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 but this quando is a spanish quando so both in spanish and italian uh, when is quando perché non mangi frutto perché it's why perché uh, there are two perché I think there is perché because and perché why so here it's it's a question so perché non mangi frutta frutta notice that there are two consonants let t qual e which yeah, qual also like in uh, in Spanish so qual e il tuo gatto which uh, is your cat so which one is your cat we could say uh, tip so many questions so the words you use to ask how much and how many in Italian also have different forms depending on whether they are masculine or feminine or singular or plural so quanto succo baby so how much quanto I don't think we've seen this here we have seen quando but not quanto quanto is how much so We've got uh, quanto succo. Why quanto? Because it's succo. And quanta torta mangi. So now it's feminine. Here it's masculine. Singular, feminine, singular. And quanti ragazzi mangiano. Quanti ragazzi. How many boys eat? So guess what it is. It's masculine, plural. And quante ragazze mangiano. So this time it's feminine, of course. We're talking about girls. How many girls eat? Quante ragazze mangiano? It is plural. So we've seen how quanto changes from quanto, quanta, quanti, and uh, quante. <coughs> Sorry. So luckily, sometimes you'll have a little break, uh, which only changes when you're talking about one or many things. So we have seen qual here. Qual è il tuo gatto? So which one is your is your cat or which is your cat and we've got here quale ragazzo quale ragazzo quale quale balena and quali ragazzi and quali baleni we can listen to them quale ragazzo quale balena quali ragazzi Quali balene? Yes, but uh, well, I'm not sure, you know, because here there is qual. Basically, what the, they are telling us here is that uh, which only exists in two forms, which is quale and quali, but qual also exists. So, which is confusing. And uh, yeah. We have to see later on. Of course, this is Duolingo, and um, I'm, you know, 
you can uh, have uh, some doubts uh, maybe because it's just an application it is not like a formal book or something like that and shirts so camisa 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 camiche 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 this is a new word as well limonata limonada would be in spanish piatti plates yeah plates and uh, so camiche camisha was it camisa would be in um, spanish I'm yo ho i miei guanti yo ho i miei guanti gloves. guanti gloves guanti gloves so i have uh, my my gloves so let's say it yo ho i miei guanti a lot of new words cappello cappello also we know it's a bear and uh, sale Sale is salt, right? So, capello, un capello, il capello. La donna ha i maglioni. La donna ha i maglioni. Maglioni, what do you think is uh, maglioni? So, the woman has uh, the... Maglioni. Okay, maglioni is sweaters. Maglioni, maglioni, maglioni. I think it's Malio Malione. My guess. La donna ha i malioni. Okay. And ristorante is not the doesn't mean uniform. I'm sorry, you probably can't see here. Yeah. So how do you say uniform? Cani is uh, of course dogs. Un cane and divisa, divisa should be the word. Divisa. Divisa. Compriamo l'anatra. Divisa. Compriamo l'anatra. L'anatra, un anatra, it's a, it's a duck. Anatra. Anatra. So compriamo. Compriamo is we buy, yes. Compriamo l'anatra. Yes, compriamo, compro, compri, compra, compriamo. I think that's how you conjugate. Io ho comprare. le tue scarpe. Comprar, comprare, yeah. Io ho uh, le tue scarpe, scarpe, shoes. So I have, I have uh, le tue, le tue, your Shoes. Io ho il mio portafoglio. Io? Io ho il mio portafoglio. Il mio, il mio portafoglio. portafoglio. So I have my wallet. Io ho il mio portafoglio. Portafoglio. Non ho un costume. Non ho un costume. I do not have a costume. Costume. Io ho la gioielleria. Io ho Io la... Ho la. Io ho la gioielleria. 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 What does it mean? Oh, it means uh, jewelry. Gioielleria. Gioielleria. Non è il tuo cappotto. Non è il tuo cappotto. So it is not... Your coat, of course. Capoto, here it's coat. Io ho la tua cintura. Io ho Io la tua, tua cin cintura. Cintura. Cin, cin, cintura. Io ho la tua cintura. Cintura. It's the belt, of course. La cintura. I think we say cintura in uh, West. La cintura. Uh, in Spanish. But the fruit is fruta. fruta. Our it's nostra. Nostra. And my is miei. Miei. Horses, cavalli. Cavalli. And sandal, sandalo. Sandal. 
La borsa. La borsa. La borsa is the bag. La borsa. Uh, cinturo. Yeah, the belt and the coat is capoto. How do you say the boot? Uh, I forgot actually. Already forgot. Uh, he is Louis. Louis. Pocket is um, Tasca. Tasca. Riso. 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 Sorry. Riso. Cane. Cane. Limonata. Limonata. Okay. Now let's see. They, they are not your pants. So they are not. Non sono. Sono. Non sono. Uh, I, I tui pantaloni. Pantaloni. Tuoi. Is it tuoi? Panta tuoi. 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 Yeah. Pantaloni. It's not tui, it's tuoi. Pantaloni. So how do you say pants or trousers? It's just pantaloni. I have my shirt. Io ho oh. la, la mia, mia. Uh, camicia. Camicia. Camicia, oh, camicia, I said, totally wrong, so, camicia. Okay, this one I, I managed to do it, although I can tell you that now it's getting a little bit more difficult. It's not the, the basic uh, Italian that I'm used to. All right, uh, so welcome back. That was the first, uh, the first exercise for this uh, Unit 6. And we're slowly, you know, getting uh, getting there. Uh, we are going now to do the describe position. And let's do it. Oh. Let's do it, let's do it. Okay, here we are, and we Nostre. just have too much. Nostre, it's our. Nostre is uh, dolce. Our dolce. Dolce. This is weird because sweet is uh, uh, caramella. Caramella. But uh, it can be dolce, not a sweet, not a candy. But it just means sweet. The taste is sweet. This is how, what it meant. What is meant here? Yeah. Mia. Mia. Tazza. So, tazza. Tazza. But tasca, what was tasca? Tasca was something else, like... I suoi about... cavalli bevono acqua. One moment, please. Tasca was about... Forgot, but we just uh, saw something like tasca. Yeah, that was a new vocabulary. Tasca... We saw like gloves, but that was not gloves. Uh, yeah, new vocabulary. I suoi, sui cavalli bevono acqua. I suoi. I suoi cavalli bevono acqua. I so his horses. Cani. Cani dogs. Nostri. Nostri. Tacchino. Tacchino. Tacchino is turkey and uh, not the country, the animal. Pranzo. Pranzo is lunch. Pranzo. La marmellata è la tua. So I remember about the, you know, the meals of the day. You have uh, colazione. Colazione. Yeah. This is a breakfast. You have cena. La cena, which is dinner. And il pranzo. Okay, now la marmellata, which is jam, e la tua. La marmellata e la tua. So the jam is yours. This il we got suo it. cavallo mangia il riso. Il suo cavallo mangia il riso. Sua. Suo. Suo. Sua. 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 Suo. suo. So suo is the correct one because cavallo, come on, it's masculine. I cavalli sono i miei. 
I cavalli sono i miei. So, o mine. I cavalli sono i miei. Cavalli. I cavalli. Il cibo è il suo, non il mio. Il cibo è il suo, non il mio. So, the food is... Is uh, hers, yeah, not mine. La zuppa non è la mia. La zuppa, zuppa. Non, non è la è mia. mia. So the soup is not mine. La Il zuppa. nostro orso mangia la marmellata. Il nostro orso mangia la marmellata. So our, our bear, il nostro orso, eats the jam. So this is okay. Le nostre torte sono nel piatto. Le nostre torte, le nostre torte is plural, so una torta, una, una torta, torta, this is the singular, so feminine singular, so le, nostre, nostre, nostra, it should be nostre, nostre. Mm. lui ha il tuo piatto, lui, lui, ha, ha, lui ha il tuo piatto. Il tuo piatto. Tuo piatto. So your plate. Sono le mie mele. Sono le mele. 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 Una mela, mele. Sono le... Mie. Sorry. Sono le mie mele. Mie. Mio. Mie. I don't understand, but it's like uh, they are mine. My my apple. So we know Mia, Mio, uh, Miei, and uh, and then what? And then. I don't know. I forgot also the possessive adjective. Let's see. Mie. Mire. Mio. Mio. I will go with Mie. the first. Let's see here. Ah, mie. Okay. Okay, we, we have this. Let, let's, 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 let's check. Mio. Mia. So we have seen mie and mie. This is how you say, okay, this is how you put the feminine. So this is feminine, this is, I mean this one, feminine um, plural. This one is the feminine mask, uh, singular, yeah, masculine singular and masculine plural. All right, guys. Good, 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 good. So no, I mean, we managed to get this le one. Le farfalle nello zoo sono le sue. Le farfalle nello zoo sono le sue. So here we're also revising uh, suo and sua. Uh, let's see. So sua becomes sue. Uh, soy. It should be like that. Let's see. Le farfalle nello zoo sono le sue. Uh, his or hers. Uh, the butterflies in the zoo are his. Il dolce non è nel nostro piatto. Il dolce, dolce. Non, non è, è nel, nel nostro, nostro piatto. piatto. Dolce is a dessert, yeah. So, sweet a dessert. We have seen dolce... Dolce Cabana, Dolce Cabana, you know this brand, and the fork, forchetta, le forchette, una forchetta, le. so le forchetta, le forchette uh, sono, 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 tue, tue, now let's try to remember, so we have tua, no, tuo, tua, okay, uh, tuoi and tue. I think so. Yeah. 
so that's how it is and uh, I eat your sandwiches so I eat your manjo so this one is easy uh, il il suo panin no il suo become sui i sui because it's plural i sui panini panino panini it's good okay the cake la torta uh, la torta nel nel piatto double t e e nostra I was thinking maybe to put la nostra but yeah it's good like that great so this one was interesting very instructive very informative very didactic let's say let's continue so welcome back guys here we are we have done two exercises and uh, although we had a lot of uh, new things uh, I can see we also revised uh, the possessive adjectives which is a good thing and uh, the articles by the way so il la i le and so on so now socks this is something new calcetinas is how you say it in spanish but here is uh, calzini or calze how would you say it le sue calze or calza calzini how do you think uh, you should say so le sue i would say calz le sue your le sue i will go with calze yeah i will write calze here yes calze Notice that I made this choice because the ending is uh, is uh, homogene, yeah, homogeneous. Calze, so calza, calze, la calza, la calze. I do not have the wool, so yo no non o yon o il I don't know how to say wool. It's lana. La lana. So non o la lana. La lana. Il leone beve l'acqua. Il leone beve l'acqua. Il leone beve l'acqua. Beve l'acqua. Okay, guys. So here. It was hard to understand. Le mie, le mie shirt. Yes, do you remember how to say shirt? Le mie. From uh, the article and the uh, post adjective, we know that it's a feminine plural, yeah. But uh, let's try to remember. Uh, Camisas is in Spanish. Camisas. Camicha, I think. It was camicha. Cami, camicha, camiche. I would put camiche here. Camiche. Uh, camiche without. Yes, because yeah, I wrote camike actually. But good that. Dolingo was very forgiving on this one. The skirt. I don't know. Uh, I will say la la tasca. Lagona. This is a new uh, word for me. 
I mean, this is new to me. And uh, Laguna. Okay, Falda. Il mio suit. How do? You, how would you say suit? Let's see. Let's abito. Oh yes, I remember now. Abito, of course. Now I, I saw it. I remember. Abito. It's like a uh, abito, but uh, I leave without the H, so it is a suit. Gli uomini mangiano la pasta. Gli uomini, uomini mangiano la pasta. Mangiano la pasta. Oh, this is great. And how to say the man? It's of course l'uomo. L'uomo ha uh, una belt. Well, we'll be careful with that. Cintura. Wow. Cintura. I could have uh, made some more efforts. I agree. Cintura to guess. And. L'uomo uh, ha una gioielleria. Gioielliera. I remember what it means. So the man has a jewelry. And uh, so it's gioielleria. Gioielleria. What's the problem here? Oh. It's a store. It's a store. It's not the actual Io jewelry. Io ho scarpe. Okay. Io ho scarpe. Io ho scarpe. So, I have shoes. He, it's lui. A. Uh, capoto, you know. Il mio capoto. This is good. His candies. Uh, how do you say candy? It's uh, caramella. Caramelle will be in plural. So his candies. Le sue, Le sue caramelle, caramelle sono, sono. Uh, nel piatto. Piatto. Okay, nice. We have lui is a waiter. Lui è un this is a word that I'm still learning. I always forget. Uh, cam car uh, wow. In Spanish, it is camerero. Camarero. Uh, let's try to write it. Camarero. Camarero. Or camerero. Something like that. Okay, that's Spanish. But in Span in Italian, it is... Came, came reiri, something like that. We can see it here. Came reire. Okay. Okay, once again I. Came reire. Riere. No, reire, but riere. So let me repeat this. Cameriere. Cameriere. Cameriere, camarero, cameriere, 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 cameriere. So la borsa, la borsa. This is the bag, and he spends. Uh, I would say i suoi pantaloni. I Suoi pantaloni. Let's see. It's good. Nice. And, man, Lagona, of course. Lagona. We saw that. Lagona is a skirt. Lagona. L'uomo ha una gioielleria. L'uomo ha una gioielleria. So, it is not just, uh, you know, the jewel, but the jewelry store. Jewelry, jewelry store. The man, the man has a jewelry store. Joyal area. Great. So we did it. I will pause and see you in a bit. So 
we have seen cinturon, we have seen calce, we have seen pantalone, we have seen gona, we have uh, seen what else? Uh, how do you say shirt? Kami. Kamishe. Uh, Kamishe is a plural. And Kamisha. Kamisha is a shirt. So we're learning uh, the new vocabulary and uh, it's not easy it's not that easy uh, what did we just do describe possession did we just uh, do this personalize one I think so I think we just did that one and uh, this is the the story so I would I would prefer to go with the story actually it's up to to you, you know, because we can do this once again. Just uh, you know to check. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's be courageous. I did uh, quite a lot of mistakes. I think two mistakes or something like that in the previous exercise, but we we managed to finish it. He has your plate. So lui ha il tuo piatto. Piatto. La tartaruga è un animale. La tartaruga, la tartaruga è so is è un animale. And what else? Il gatto mangia l'uccello. Il gatto mangia l'uccello. U cello. It's a bird. Uccello with double C double L. Okay? Got it? It's a bird. I have the spoon. Yo o il cucciaio. Cu cucciaio. Is it cucciaio or cu chiaio? Cu chiaio. It is cu chiaio. That's how you say it. Cu chiaio. It's the Lape spoon. non è nello zucchero. Forchetta cu chiaio. Lape is the B. Non è nello zucchero. Lape is not in the sugar. Yeah. The B is not in the sugar. That's good. Lui ha un coltello. Lui ha un cortello. Cortello, of course, it's uh, a knife. Coltello. It's not cortello, but coltello. Okay, we have la forchetta, coltello, and uh, cu, cucaio, cucaio, something like that. Difficult to remember. La ragazza, la ragazza mangia, so this is mangia, il, pro, il propri, no, il propri, il propri panini. So he's her own, because it's la ragazza, her own panini. Sandwiches and we so noi noi com, comprare io compro com com uh, priamo compriamo una so how do you say bottle we have uh, seen uh, seen this many times Let, let's just Remember a little bit. Uh, we have bicchiere, 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 bicchiere. It's uh, a glass, right? We agree on that. And bottiglia, bottiglia, bo te bot no bottiglia. Okay, bottiglia. I don't know, bottiglia. It's uh, here that I have to put the G. Very difficult. Bottiglia, is it correct? Yeah. And we buy, compriamo, compriamo. Okay, we cheated, but okay. Bottiglia. Bottiglia. 
Still. Lei cucina una bistecca. Lei cucina una bistecca. It's a steak, yeah? The cook. Il cuoco. Il cuoco ha uh, un grill. I would say un grill. No, it's una griglia. Wow. Una gri gri uh, grill griglia. I don't know how to write it. So griglia, the G has to come before the L. Griglia. Okay, griglia, I still didn't get it right. Yeah, because I didn't uh, erase the L. Okay, she is my girl. Lei è e la mia, mia ragazza. ragazza. Il cuoco. Il cuoco è. Is at the restaurant. Uh, how do you say? At the restaurant. Uh, I would say a al ris ristorante al ristorante al is it al yes il cuoco I wrote cookie okay there was a typo since you have typo is it yours? Hey. Uh, uh, is it yours? E tuo? Tuo. Yeah. The pasta on the plate is his. So la pasta nel piatto è la sua. This is good. Uh, the animal, li animale mangia its own. So il pro. Uh, it's not propo, but pro prio, proprio, proprio. Il proprio cibo. Oh, not l'animale mangia il proprio cibo. L'animale, l'uomo, uh, l'animale, un uomo. I'm kind of confused here. Let's check the the discussion here. So, ta -ta -ta, proprio is only used with the third person, both singular and so on. So yes, but okay, something I'm missing. La risposta fantastica, grazie. So no, l'animale, l'animale mangia il suo proprio cibo then. Well, l'animale, l'uomo, but l'animale. I think it's because, yes. Let's have a quick revision. No, guys, because there is il, yeah? There is la, and there is... Um, El apostrophe, yeah. So we know this. These are undefined. So definite and definite articles. So these are undefined articles. Now 
uh, we have also definite so we have uh, no these are and uh, these are definite because uh, the undefined will be un, una, and uh, yeah. Okay, that's why. Okay, my bad. Let's try to correct it. Uh, so it's going to be l'animale, yeah? L'animale mangio. Okay, we did it. Sorry. Sorry once again, and I think, um, you know, you have to be careful. The more you learn and uh, the more you have uh, to be careful because you're dealing with more things at once at the same time. So, yes, so welcome back. Now we can uh, do the story. And uh, that was a good practice. You know, you should not rush. L'esame. L'esame, l'esame that's Giorgio the, e Vanessa sono all'università. Giorgio e Vanessa sono all'università. So at the university, all'università. Giorgio, ti senti preparato per l'esame di inglese? Ti senti preparato per l'esame di inglese? Senti is you feel, ok? Ti so, Giorgio, ti senti preparato per... Do you feel like uh, preparing for the English exam? And uh, Vanessa wants to know if Giorgio is ready for his English exam. Ti senti preparato. It's not to prepare, but uh, you feel ready. Yes, I think yes. Yes, that's true. Yeah. Esame? Esame? Oggi non abbiamo un esame. Oggi non abbiamo un esame. So, today we don't have an exam. Why is Giorgio confused? He doesn't uh, take English classes. He already took his exam today. And he doesn't think uh, he has an exam. So, non abbiamo. We don't have, yeah? Sì che abbiamo un esame oggi, Giorgio. Sì che abbiamo un esame oggi, Giorgio. È un esame molto difficile. È un esame molto difficile. So... This is a difficult, very difficult non exam. Non sei mai preparato per gli esami. Non sei mai uh, preparato per gli esami. esami. So, non sei. So, you're never ready for... Uh, that's it. My, it's never. I remember this word, my. So, you're never prepared for... Or exams, yeah. Yeah. And what does Vanessa mean? Giorgio never prepares for exams? Or is always ready? I think that's the one. La lezione è tra due ore. La lezione è, a, è tra due ore. Uh, so, la lezione is the lesson, of course. È tra due ore. Due ore is two hours, yeah, it's two hours, but what's go what is the meaning of this then? Hour, why well, I cannot write it beautifully, that's the way to write hour, yeah. So la lezione è tra, tra is like between, I think, or in, okay, in due ore. Devo studiare. I need to study. Due ore studio. dopo, Giorgio e Vanessa sono a lezione di inglese. Due ore dopo, later, so two hours later, Giorgio e Vanessa sono a lezione di inglese. So they are in the, the English lesson. And click later, it's dopo, we know that. Buongiorno, ragazzi, siete pronti per l'esame? Buongiorno, ragazzi, so hello... Hello, children. Uh, siete pronti? Or are you ready for the exam? Della settimana prossima? Della settimana prossima. Della settimana. It's for next uh, week. Uh, next settimana. It's a week. So here it is. Come? Come? How? Vanessa. 
L'esame non è oggi. So, the exam is not for today. Scusa, Giorgio. Scusa, Giorgio, sorry. Scusa, yeah. Ma non sei mai preparato per gli esami. Ma non sei mai preparato per... Ma, it's but, you're never ready for uh, the exam. Ora lo sei. Now you are. So, ora, it's now. Yeah, lo sei. Sì, ora sono pronto. Sì, ora sono pronto. So, why did uh, Vanessa lie to Giorgio about the exam? She wanted him to fail the exam? She wanted to help him get ready? Yes. Okay, and now the last one. It is, it's a, eh. to study. Uh, studiare, of course. Studiare. Università. Università. Mai. Mai. And preparato. Prepa it's to be ready. Okay, so we did it. We did it and I will pause. I'll be right back. So welcome back and guys, so we did this one as well. We did the story right here. We did this one twice since we need to practice a lot. And uh, with the new, new vocabulary, of course, it's uh, more difficult. So we're going to talk about, uh, talk about food and drink. So that's what we're going to do. And after that, of course, we will be doing new things. But it doesn't mean that we we cannot um, revise lui things that we have done before. So, lui cucina una cipolla. Cipolla is uh, an onion. Cipolla. Yeah. Okay, lui cucina una cipolla. Okay. Lei mangia l'arancia. L'arancia, l'arancia... It's an orange, so lei mangia l'arancia. She eats uh, the orange. Lei mangia l'arancia. L'arancia. Il ragazzo pranza. Il ragazzo pranza. Il ragazzo pranza. It means uh, the boy eats lunch or is having lunch. Uh, la pasta, of course. Pasta. And, uh, Noi ceniamo al ristorante. Ceniamo al ristorante. Ceniamo is uh, we are having uh, dinner. So, ce, cenare. Cenare is infinitive. Noi ceniamo al ristorante. We are good. È una ragazza dolce. È una ragazza dolce. It's a sweet, yeah. She is a sweet girl. Good. She, well, you eat a sandwich. So you, tu, tu mangi un panino. Panino. Yeah, they do not eat meat. Loro non mangiano. That's a simple uh, conjugation to the first uh, plural person. Carne, it's meat, just like in Spanish. The ingredient is the jam. The ingredient is the jam. So, l'ingrediente è la marmelata. 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 Io... Uh, Cucino il pranzo. Cucino. Because it's uh, cucinare. So, cucino. I have the spoon. So, io ho oh. il, il cucchiaio. 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 Io non ho pepe. Io non... Io non ho... So I don't have pepper, it's pepper. So I don't have pepper. La donna cena. La donna cena, the woman. The woman eats uh, dinner. Yeah. Cena. Tu bevi il tè. Tu bevi 
pirte. La patata, I think this is correct, la patata, patata. Potate, potato is patata. I eat pepper steak. Pepper steak. Uh, yo manjo. Yo manjo uh, la bistecca al pepe. I think so. Al pepe, but uh, where's uh, yo manjo una? Okay, yes, it's not la. That's 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 true. That's true. So we have uh, this one. Noi mangiamo uh, una torta al limon al limone. Yes, and the last one is Yo manjo una Una bisteca al pepe Nice So we did it And I think uh, we did two mistakes Well, I, actually I did two mistakes And uh, Yeah, I will pause Hi guys, so well, welcome, welcome back. And we did it, so we are now here. Uh, man, so congrats to everybody. Auguri, so congratulations. Auguri, auguri, congratulations. Everybody, uh, a tutti, congratulations. Auguri, a tutti. And uh, it's so great, we, we are now here, so we are... We are now uh, back to uh, to where we stop, where I stop uh, previously, and uh, so we can do the first one. Why not? We can do the first one. Let's try. Notice that uh, for one lesson, normally it is divided into many parts. It can be five, four, five parts. And uh, when it was in yellow, it was already done, and I just had to um, to do it once. But uh, to do one uh, one lesson, you have to do all the parts, and it takes like uh, four times longer. So now we're going to go a little bit slower, and you will see because there are many parts. We will move slower, but that's a good thing because we need time to to grasp, to assimilate uh, everything. Dove sei? So where are you? Yes, and... Dove siete? Dove siete? Dove siete? So that's where are you? From Cosa away? sono? Cosa sono? Cosa sono? What are they? Cosa sono? But uh, cosa sono? What, what am I? It's also a way to say. Cosa bevono gli uomini? Cosa bevono gli uomini? Cosa bevono gli uomini? So gli uomini because it's the, it's uh, defined, not uh, undefined. You know, I made a mistake for l'animale. Gli animale and le animale l'animale because you don't say le animale. You say l'animale. Quale bane? Balena. Quale balena? So which will? And Quale ragazzo? Quale ragazzo? Quando mangi? Quando mangi? When do we eat? When do you eat? Sorry. Because it's mangi. Quando bevi latte? Quando bevi Quando latte? Quando bevi latte? Quando bevi latte? Quando scrivi? Quando scrivi? Easy? La risposta è sì. La risposta è sì. So the answer is yes. La risposta. 
Una domanda, una risposta. Uh, a question and an answer. Yeah? So, answer is risposta. Risposta. Dove sono le domande? Dove sono le domande? Where are the questions? So, una domanda, la domanda, le domande. Where are the questions? Good. And questions, domande. domande. Questions, yeah? Not question. Come mangi il panino? Come, come... <coughs> Let's check on this. Come. How? It's not como, but come mangi il panino. Come. come. In Spanish, it's como, como, you know. It's como with an accent or como uh, without the accent for like that. So how, how do you eat, of course, the sandwich, il panino. Sandwich. What is uh, cosa? Cosa. Which is quale? Quale. Question is domanda, domanda. and answer is risposta. risposta. Good. My answer. La mia. Mia. La mia risposta, risposta. È, è no. No. Good. What do the children read? So cosa? Cosa. Cosa leggono? Leggono. Leggono, sorry. Uh, what do the children Cosa legono? Legono. Well, let's try this. Cosa i ragazzi legono? Legono. Cosa i ragazzi? What uh, the? Cosa legono i ragazzi? Well, that sucks because you see, I don't have any hearts and. By losing this one, hey, I'm losing everything. <laughs> yeah, so that sucks. Okay, let's quit here. We will not pause this one. And uh, we have to close this ad. Let's close it. So we're still here. You know, I'm out of hot. And... Uh, well, um, it, it's okay. It's part of the game, let's say. Uh, so next time then, because now it's uh, already uh, almost uh, three minutes past uh, one hour that we are studying Italian. And I think uh, we should end here. I hope you liked the lesson, that uh, it was challenging to you as well. A lot of new words, a lot of uh, good things, but... Next time we know, we just have to start here, where it says start. Yeah, where it says start. Thank you so much. Grazie mille. E amici, uh, ci vediamo uh, alla prossima lezione. Uh, so what else? Yeah. So, a presto, see you soon, arrivederci, ciao. Oh yes, don't forget to like the video and don't forget to share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. Uh, you have all my videos uh, on Gerard Beya, uh, so you have different uh, playlists and to find all the Italian language learning videos you just have to choose uh, this uh, this playlist with the same name Italian language learning. Thank you so much. Grazie mille. Ciao ciao.